In this video I'm going to show you how you can add music into Power Music that you have previously scanned or photographed and you have as image files. Now these image files could be JPEGs or they could be PNGs or they could be TIFFs but they have to be in an image file format for them to be imported to Power Music. You can of course also scan your music and bring it in from PDF but in this particular video I'm looking at bringing in image files. So we're going to create a new song so I go to import picture and I'll select just import a single image at the moment. I want to browse to where my images are stored so they're in my picture folder and I go to music scans. I'll start off with this image here so I'll select that and open it and it's opened into Power Music. Now the first thing you'll notice here is that the piece of music is quite skewed. Um, it was scanned in a while ago and saved and I've made a bit of a mess of scanning it in. So what I want to do is I want to change that so that it's lined up horizontally. So what I'll do is I make sure that page is selected and I go to modify and I go to deskew and that straightens it up. Now what I need to do now is just crop this so that it doesn't have the black lines round about it. So I'll crop that to there, I can adjust this slightly. I could, at this point, I could change the brightness and contrast, but I'm quite happy with them. They're okay. So I'll just crop that and then I'll save the changes I've made to that. Now, what I could do now is I could go and add more pages into this. So I'll go and I'll add some multiple images this time. And I want to add in the page two and page three and page four. And I do that by holding down the control key and selecting the three pages like that and I'll click open and now I've got the pages in that page there that page there and that page there now actually I've put them in in the wrong order I need to reorder these so that's actually the last page so I want to move that down to the bottom and that is actually page two so I want to move that up one so now I've got the complete song in first page second page third page and fourth page I can preview these on screen by clicking on here. Now obviously in a big wide screen like this I wouldn't want a single page on the screen like that. I'll try four and see what it looks like. And I think that would be quite playable. So there's actually no page turning involved in that at all. We can play the whole thing all the way through. So that's how you add image files into Power Music. Now the one thing you have to be careful of is the size of the image file. You don't want these to be very large files because if they are it slows down the whole page loading and song loading in Power Music. Let's go back and have a look at that folder of music that I was working with. Here it is here. What you should do is you should go in and look at the details of each piece of music. And when I look at these, and, and this is the, the images I was importing here, you'll notice they're around about 100 kilobytes or thereabouts. Now that's about the right size of what you want, maybe up to about three or 400 kilobytes. But you'll notice that the other images I have up here are much larger, and some of them are ridiculously large. That one's 17 megabytes. Now if you were to use that in Power Music, it would seriously slow down the speed at which the page turning was taking place and the new song loading. So you would use your image manipulation software, whatever it is you use, we use Irfan View, and I would take it down to a smaller size. So for instance this one here, which is 2 megabytes, if I just loaded that into Irfan View, this is Irfan View here, and then I could do things like this, I could go image, I could resize it and resample it. So we want to make this a bit smaller, so I think we'll take down the number of dots per inch. So when we take it down to 100 dots per inch, and when we save it, instead of saving it as a BMP, which is quite an inefficient image file, we're going to save this as a ping, which is a compressed format, which is really good for black and white images. So let's just go and save in the original folder, and I'm going to save it as a ping. Uh, I'll just call it brackets1 to make sure that I know which one it is I'm doing. And so I save it. I don't want any transparency, so I'll just escape. And now let's go back and have a look and find that file there. And you'll notice now that file has been reduced 
from almost 3000 kilobytes down to 134. And if you look at it on screen, the quality is still perfectly adequate for displaying music. There is no point in having incredibly high resolution images uh, for power music because it's the screen view that's the important thing and 100 or 150 dots per inch is adequate. So the little bit I've done there at the end, it's quite technical, but it could explain why when you put some of your music into Power Music, suddenly your page turning becomes quite slow, or loading up a song becomes slow, and the reason for that is you've used an image which is far too big.